issue of shares in one installment and at par. <clears throat> now, as discussed before, a share is one unit of a capital. So, when there is an issue of 10 lakh shares, it may be of rupees 10 each, giving us a total capital of 1 crore. Now, this rupees 10 may be payable in one installment or several installments. We will first discuss accounting entries when shares are issued and the entire amount is payable in one installment. <clears throat> we are also discussing the issue of shares at par. <clears throat> at par would mean that if the face value is 10, it is being issued also at the same price at rupees 10. If it is issued at a lower value, it is said to be issued at a discount. If it is issued at a value higher than the face value or the nominal value, it is said to be issued at a premium. So we are now discussing issue of shares in one installment and at par. <clears throat> what is the entry for issue of shares at par? What happens first is the <clears throat> money is received from the prospective investors. People who were interested in the company would have paid up the money, filled up the application and paid money according to the number of shares that they have applied for. So money comes in and the entry is to debit bank, bank account debit with the money which is coming in to an account called share application and allotment account. The directors will then go through the share application. If any of them will have to be rejected, they would be removed. And if all is fine, shares would be allotted. When shares are allotted, the money which is lying in this share application and allotment account is to be transferred to the share capital account. What is share capital account? It is nothing but the shareholders account. Therefore, just like share capital is nothing but the owner's account, shareholders account, share application and allotment account also represent the shareholders account or prospective shareholders account and therefore these are all personal accounts. These are all personal accounts. <clears throat> so share application and allotment account debit to share capital with the amount received on shares allotted. With the amount received on shares allotted. In the first instance we debited bank and credited the share application and allotment account with the entire amount which was received. But when shares are allotted, we take it out of the share application account and credit share capital account with which amount with the amount received on shares allotted. And if there is still extra money there, say for example, an issue of 10 lakh shares we received applications for 12 lakh shares, then there would be an extra 20 lakh rupees which will have to be refunded. So any extra money which is lying is refunded and the entry for that would be share application allotment account debit to bank with the amount refunded in case of oversubscription. So share capital, share application allotment, these are all personal accounts representing the accounts of the shareholders. Share capital, of course, as discussed before, is a part of the shareholders funds appearing under equity and liabilities in the balance sheet. <clears throat> Let us take a small example. A company issued a prospectus inviting the public to subscribe to its issue of 10 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. Applications were received for 11 lakh shares and 1 lakh shares were rejected and the balance 10 lakh shares allotted. So pass journal entries. 
So first one is that applications are received for 11 lakh shares. So what is our first entry? Money comes in, therefore bank account is debited. Two, the account we open is share application and allotment account. With what amount bank account will be debited with the amount that is actually received, that is 11 lakh shares into rupees 10. One crore 10 lakhs. But then 1 lakh shares were rejected and 10 lakh shares were only allotted. So on receipt of money, bank account debit to share application. This is with receipt of money. Next on allotment of shares. So what is our entry on allotment? On allotment, we would say share application and allotment account debit. To share capital. How much is this? 10 lakh shares into rupees 10. One crore. On receipt of money, on allotment of shares, and for one more transaction refund because 1 lakh shares are rejected. What is the entry for that? Share application and allotment debit. To bank. Amount being, you are, we are talking about 1 lakh shares of 10 each. This would be the scheme of entries on receipt, on allotment and on refund of shares. <clears throat>